I've been sent to rob it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Oh, covenant greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our text today is taken from Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. The Bible tells us there that wherefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow of things in heaven on earth and underneath. Just paraphrasing. And every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Indeed, Jesus is Lord over every issue of life. That name, Jesus, is so, so powerful. It answers to anybody that calls on him, anywhere, anytime. In John chapter 5, there was an account of a man that had an infirmity for 38 years. And he stood by that pool of Bethesda, watching other people receive their healing. When the angel came to steer the water from time to time, all manner of diseases were healed. But this man was there for 38 years as an onlooker until Jesus arrived the scene and healed him. When Jesus arrives, you you are transformed and you move to the next level. No longer an onlooker, but a partaker. I pray for you today that even as you give your heart to the Lord, you will partake of his blessing. You will partake of his mercies and he will heal and restore you. Another account of the power of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ, is also in the book of Acts chapter 3. There was a man laying at his feet that sat down at a beautiful gate begging for arms. He watched people come do shopping, you know, have fun. But he was just watching until Peter and John came and said, silver and gold we don't have. But in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. That name is above every other situation this man rose up and began to leap for joy when you surrender your life to jesus you move to the next level 